Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, <coughs> this is a concluding session. At the beginning of uh, this morning, I said the symposium objective and that the, uh, we will achieve some conclusion how to further enhance human survivability studies for solving global issues. And of course, we uh, dealt with SDGs. Uh, all of the goals are related to human survivability, and uh, uh, students and the participants uh, touched upon one or some of them, or all of them, uh, in your presentations or talk. And today's agenda included three keynote speeches and two sessions by uh, presentations by students. And finally, we had the panel discussion just now. We heard a various kinds of opinion from the panelists and the discussants from the floor. And I think this is not a conclusion, this is a kind of summary. Asia has a variety of countries facing and tackling various global and local issues. Keynote speakers introduced a number of hot issues, such as global practice plastic pollution, making use of biosphere reserves, geoparks and heritages, UNESCO Green, academies, water, energy, food nexus, and uh, uh, connecting SDGs with regional and the national context is a uh, fear fragment, and the quantification leads into proper pathway, uh, which is crucial for coordinating efforts. Tendency of different uh, energies in Asia was also uh, introduced and the SDGs can connect regions. And the policy makers, industries, and academic collaboration is very necessary. And the collective actions by all countries and all sectors uh, is necessary. And the innovations and the partnership and the importance of higher education and innovation. So those kinds of uh, things. I, I, I wonder uh, some important things are missing, but uh, we may ask us uh, keynote speakers later uh, to uh, add uh, important things. And uh, so, but those keywords uh, were uh, presented by three keynote speakers. Then we had the two student sessions, and uh, uh, our Shishukan, GSAIS, is dealing with uh, SDGs as a usual idea useful idea to promote interdisciplinary and holistic approaches and inclusive research activities. And in my classrooms, I'm circulating uh, SDGs official document to the students, and uh, uh, some parts of the documents we read out, or students read out, and I ask students how your research is relating to which uh, goals, which targets. So this kind of uh, classroom activities we, I am doing, and also I'm circulating Sendai framework documents and the Paris Agreement documents. And it is a very good occasion for students to learn how to write such international official documents, how to read such international official documents. So this is kind of uh, education we are doing. And based on such uh, activities, uh, educational activities. Students are doing uh, uh, various kinds of research works, uh, making use of uh, uh, the uh, research groups' activities, and as well as uh, many other uh, activities uh, going to abroad and uh, uh, doing internships, and etc. And today, eight students presented issues related to children's behaviors taxing global economy, power system policy in ASEAN, cognitive function of elderly people, education for ethnic children in Myanmar, sustainable city concept in Kitakyushu, plastic waste management, and reducing food waste. And they mentioned the relationships with SDGs and the importance of interdisciplinary approaches. And students' research are, researches are recognized and well linked to SDGs. And students are thinking globally and acting locally. So this was mentioned by uh, Mr. Boer uh, from UNESCO or uh, Bangkok office. And we had a panel, what academic can do for SDGs in Asia. Panelists presented issues related to 
something like this. Asia has uh, two thirds people who cannot access to proper food, and the poor nutrition kills more pe people. Food loss and waste uh, problem is very important and the pertinent question. Where are we? Who are we? Or something like that. And the SDGs are interrelated each other, and the rigorous and the honest evaluation can be done by academia. Academia, only academia can do that. And needs to focus research on high impact areas to achieve SDGs. And the urgent need of academia's actions, a renewable energy in ASEAN, but still we have lack of coordination and the collaboration with academia. Scientific results persuade policymakers. Networking by academia for tangible actions, capacity building in academic institutions. So those kinds of uh, collaboration is very important. And uh, finally, Dr. Yamashiki, he mentioned sustainable mother planet idea. And he also mentioned water, energy, food are essential for or human survivability. And human survivability studies promote a linkage between traditional specific research and the new integrated field of study. And this is final slides. The left hand side, we have Hashi, eight, eight discipline of thinking. And uh, so students are learning those eight uh, disciplines. Uh, and uh, uh, students are doing interdisciplinary holistic approaches and inclusive and innovative research activities. And this is the academia side. And on the other hand, the right hand side is uh, SDGs. This is just practice. The people, policymakers, industries, government, or many other organizations, NGO, NPOs, uh, also already. And, uh, uh, we need some interactions, of course. So sometimes from academia side to practice, to give uh, such as uh, science-based uh, evidence, for example. And uh, such evidence can persuade the policymakers. And they may do very good policy uh, to the people. The people will be happy. So this is ideal situations, but uh, as a uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, no, Dr. Uh, uh, Kayashima said uh, there is a very often gap between, uh, big gap between academia and practice. And the problem is how to overcome such gaps. And I'd like to invite uh, some participants to mention something about this kind of uh, uh, summary figure. Uh, I, I, I said something very general uh, comments I made, but uh, uh, you may add uh, some comments from your uh, viewpoints. Or you may correct my uh, conclusion summaries. And uh, some important things are lacking, so y you may add something to my uh, review of this symposium. So we have only five minutes. So I, I, I'd like to invite uh, several persons uh, by using one minute each. OK. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Professor Takara. I think this was a wonderful seminar. I enjoyed it greatly. Very well balanced. Everything was uh, uh, well in place. Fantastic uh, uh, intellectual exchanges. Um, I think one thing that can be improved is what uh, uh, one of the audience members asked me when I gave my presentation is to involve the private sector. I think you can even um, make better events in the future by inviting the private sector. Actually, not just you, yeah, all of us. When we do similar events, I think we can gain by inviting the private sector and also communicate better between academia and practice together with them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other comments? Yes, please. Uh, thank you. I do agree. A very nice uh, catering. Thank you very much. And also, I do agree with uh, your comment uh, in regard with the inf involving uh, private sectors. Uh, we do have annual meetings with the Minister of Energy uh, on the high-level discussion 
we try to also engaging with the uh, uh, private sectors. Uh, we we have occasion we call it ASEAN Energy Business Forum. But the thing that we miss is the researcher and academy, academician. So uh, when I'm in the office last month, I'm trying to convince my colleague and also my partner in the ASEAN member states to incorporate these three pillars, policy, politician, uh, business sector, private sectors, and also later on the academician and researcher. So hopefully the initiation hopefully will start next year. Uh, and then of course, uh, negotiation with the politician is there. So I hope your wish will come true. <laughs> so uh, we need uh, all the support so we can discuss further. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. So here are all the policy makers and industries uh, located here. This is very small portion and the academia is here, but uh, uh, we, we have to consider uh, importance of those uh, two, two pillars you, you mentioned. Any other comments, questions, or additions? So I didn't have time to uh, make a statement of conclu for conclusion, but uh, uh, you, ha I, I guess you have uh, uh, some ideas about uh, uh, the uh, relationship between academia and the practice, and also how to further enhance human survivability studies for solving global issues. Actually, our students are doing very well, as you saw. Uh, today, only six students uh, did the presentation, and the three students uh, uh, made poster presentations. But we have some other, uh, more than 50 students. Uh, they are also uh, doing their research with supervisors and uh, also professors in Kyoto University. And uh, uh, I hope you expect our uh, further uh, outcomes by students and also my colleagues, professors and uh, researchers in Shishuka. So with this, I'd like to conclude this concluding session and the symposium. Any other final comments? No? Okay. Thank you very much for your uh, kind of cooperation, and uh, I'd like to close this uh, symposium is successfully completed. Thank you very much. <laughs>